All right, okay, chill out, chill, chill out. I, yeah, I know what I said. I know what I said in the past before, but these are too clean, man. I couldn't pass these up. I know they're women's shoes. I know they're women's shoes, but I had to get them. I had to. Yo, what's up with this nigga is Nice nigga is everything in between. It's your boy Trey D. Yeah, Trey D's kids coming to you live from the vehicle. And as you can see right now, I am driving with my knee because I had to make hand gestures in order for me to really articulate or whatever. Anyway, man, I am on the way to the mall right now to pick up the UNC to Chicago Jordan 1s. And I was not able to hit on the sneakers app uh, yesterday, which was Thursday. And I didn't even try uh, this morning um, just because I, I, I just didn't hit yesterday and so I was like you know what I did get one pair through Foot Locker and yes we're gonna talk about this flex app flex program thing we're gonna talk about that but I was able to hit through Foot Locker so I'm going to go pick up that pair and it is my size it's basically a, a size 12 in women's but it's a 10 and a half uh, for men's and I can do a 10 and a half I'm, I'm a real 10 and a half um, but I always get 11 just to make sure um, So I'm on the way to the mall right now to go pick these joints up and I'm going to give y'all a review on these man I know y'all have seen plenty of reviews, but you know, I'm just letting y'all know. Oh real quick man Shouts out to uh, both the winners for the giveaway uh, They actually both got in contact with me and both of the bags were sent out and they both actually already got them so Shouts out to y'all, man. Definitely appreciate all the support. I appreciate all the support from everybody, man. If you are not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for your boy. Leave comments in the comment section. You know, your boy is always in the comment section. Hit that thumbs up if you like what you see as well. This FLX. So apparently, it does not matter what tier you are. You can be a tier one or a tier three. You can still get the head starts that you need. And I don't know if I like that just because I understand that if you just started with a uh, Foot Locker, that you can get the shoe that uh, everybody is hyped about. And I guess it's good for that, but for your loyal customers who have been loyal to you from like day one or whatever, man, they, they basically get nothing. And, and then I do not like the fact that you have to spend your points just to actually get head starts. And so you have to spend money to get the head starts and that's where all this other stuff comes into play like nobody wants like these concerts and movie tickets and all this other random stuff that you throw in there because we need the points for the head starts you know what i'm saying and so when you go for a head start and then you don't actually get the shoe you lose those points which sucks man i'm sorry i'm jumping around but you know that sucks and so that you can't get your uh, actual points back or whatever man then once you've depleted all of your points, then you gotta go buy some BS shoes or whatever, just so you can get your points back, so you can go and get the hype releases. You know what I'm saying? That sucks, man. This I, I don't I don't know how this is gonna work. So I haven't seen a YouTuber yet that has been like, hey, this is a great app. You know, I love it. And I don't think you will see that, man. And I just I don't know. I, I said it's gonna take some getting used to, but. I don't even think it's gonna be like getting used to man because it's 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 gonna force people to buy random stuff that they don't want and then also it's probably gonna force people to other stores I know a lot of people have been talking about finish line um, I don't hit on finish line but I'm about to start trying man because I don't I just I don't like this I don't like it at all man all right man so I'm in here now and let me pull up my account. Oh yeah? The Valentine's, huh? Yeah, yeah Valentine's. It's all good, man. What's good? How you doing? Shit, chilling. You know, I can't call it. Yeah. Same old. So it's easier to just pop a line, scan the QR, and then it tells her what size you have. Okay. And then somebody goes and grabs it. I got you. All right, y'all. As y'all can see, your boy actually has the bag secured from Foot Locker, House of Hoops. But before I get into this, man, I'm gonna set this right here. I actually, actually did get something in from uh, Foot Action. I had a coupon that was about to expire, and so I wanted to use it. 
child food packaging. All right, let's see what we got. So basically, some free pants right here. At least I can go work out in these joints right here. Puma, y'all see that right there, man? And it got the Puma right there. And then right there. And these are a size medium, slim fit. So we'll see how these actually go. But they basically were free, man. So I had to get them, you know what I'm saying? Now, everybody I've been watching and hearing about, they say these shoes are really, really nice. At least the quality is really nice. So, let's get into it, man. Uh, oh, I was able to use an old coupon, too. I keep all of my receipts, right? And so, I take the coupon off of the receipt and I keep them. So, I have all of my old coupons still, like, damn. So these ended up coming out to $162. I was able to use $20 off, uh, so that saved me. And they got all of this flex stuff on here, man. I'm, who cares? Anyway, man, this is them right here. As y'all can see, this box, these are a size 12 in women's. And the official colorway is black, dark powder, blue, gem, red. These are a size 12. These retail for $170. Like I said, I got my $20 off, so I basically got them for $150. But y'all already know what this box is, man. And it looks like a lot of the Jordan 1s are starting to come in this box, the reverse Nike box, whatever you want to call it. But here we are. Stamp, whatever, man. They don't, I don't know. I don't know about the smell. Anyway, bam, and here they are right here. This is them, man, the UNC2 Chicago Air Jordan 1s. These are the women's exclusive. And of course, they came in extended sizes for men uh, with, I guess, smaller feet. I don't, I don't even know how you want to say this, man. But this is a 10 and a half. I can wear a 10 and a half in men's. So uh, it's a 12 in women's, but 10 and a half in men. But the quality on these joints is very, very nice, man. I, I have to say, look at that right here, that toe box. Oh yeah, that's soft, man. Let me see. Can you see that? Y'all see that? Miles, Bam. Yeah, man. Joints are nice, man. And normal shoe tree, of course. I wanted to see what the insole looked like. So on the insole, you have a powder blue insole with Nike Air in black. And then, of course, you got black tongue and black laces red toe right here black all the way around and then of course you have your unc swoosh nike swoosh and then going towards the back collar right there of course you have unc as well right there and then you have the black wings logo I like when they actually put a different color for the Wings logo rather than uh, the same color as the collar because it, it, it just doesn't look right to me. And then leading up right here, this is a pretty stiff. This is pretty stiff, man, but black right there, but the leather quality is still pretty good. And then, of course, you have your Nike Air in red. And this is not leather right here. It's just the normal tag that you normally have. And then, of course, on the bottom, you got your red bottoms right here. And you already know Nike right there. Y'all already know what Jordan 1 bottoms look like, man. But I love when they are red bottoms. You got your stars right here. Let me see. There you go. Got the stars on these joints. I am actually impressed with the quality. Um, shattered backboard, they're not. Y'all know I am against getting women's shoes, man. But these were fire. These look... These look really good, man. So I really, really wanted to get these. Uh, you got the white midsole as well, right there, as y'all can see. And now on the other shoe, as you can see, same thing, but you have a Nike Air hang tag in leather. Very, very nice touch. No extra laces, as you can see, but you know, it ain't that big of a deal, man. I rarely switch out my laces, honestly. I rarely switch out my laces, so it feels really good, man. Nike Air. And then on the insole on this one, you actually have that. Oh, it's a dark red. But it is, it's a red insole, and the Nike Air is in black. 
Y'all have to let me know what y'all think about these joints, man, in the comment section down below. This flex program that we got going on, man, but these joints were actually harder to get than I thought they were gonna be. And they released twice. So we released Thursday and Friday on the sneakers app. But as far as in-store, man, they were a little bit harder to get than I thought they were actually gonna be. But y'all let me know if y'all were able to cop. And y'all let me know what y'all think about these joints. I am actually going to do a comparison video with the other UNC2 Chicago joints. So y'all let me know if y'all want to see that. But I think I want to do that, man, compared to these right here. Like I said, man, these joints are fire. So I had to get them. And yes, I know I do not wear women's shoes. That sounds weird. That sounds super weird. These are a woman's exclusive, but I had to get them. Hit me up in the comments, man. Hit that subscribe button for your boy. Hit that thumbs up for your boy, man. Your boy's about to get out of here. I'm not gonna do an on foot with it, man, but just because I don't have the time right now. But I did wanna show y'all these joints in hand right here. Anyway, man, with all of that being said, how I look?